Hello everybody, uh, this is Alex uh, and today I would like to talk about some uh, tips inside ZBrush on how to use ZRemesh uh, when trying to remesh a object that you've used a live boolean on. on. Um, so basically for whoever is not familiar you can uh, do quite some nice uh, models inside ZBrush by using live boolean which is you know, a very powerful tool. Uh, I've got here uh, this model that's been uh, generated using live boolean. Um, basically, what I would like to do is remesh it because in its current state, after it's been decimated, it's not exactly usable. Um, as in, you can you know you, you could make you can do a you can retop topologize it and create a model around it from scratch but obviously I would like to add to, to add a lot of details into this and and not necessarily in ZBrush I might move this into another another software like 3ds Max so if we want to use remesh it on this model basically uh, what, we, what uh, we would want to do is first create some polygroups um, so then we can set our crease based on those polygroups because if we use Z remesh it right now so I can show you Basically, uh, so we go into geometry and then we've got ZRemesh here. I've ticked, uh, you know, keep groups, keep creases, detect edges uh, on the adaptive setting. And, you know, I'll, I'll go for double the amount of polygons just to, to add more detail into it. Um, I've selected use polypane, but none of this matters because, you know, we don't, I don't have any creases in and I don't have any polypane either. So basically, if I uh, press for Z remesh now, you know it's, it's done. It's done a fair job, although uh, you know you can see that it's messed up the geometry on the on the mesh, and you can see how sharp edges. So before, or some sharp edges here. Now what we've got is um, you know it's created this a bit of smooth uh, smooth uh, smoothness to it, and it just simply doesn't work, and it's it's uh, it, the, the mesh is not holding together basically after we use Z remesh it in this way. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go into uh, polygroups. Once you group, uh, group this by normals, uh, let me just uh, go back. <laughs> so we want to group this by, by normals and I would use masking of, uh, yeah, around 20. Let's have a look how, that, uh, how that's like. Um, so, that's how it was. This is how it is right now. So basically, what this has done is divided the um, mesh into different colors, um, thus creating a uh, you know what we need. It, thus giving us the opportunity now that when we use creasing by polygroups, to basically have a crease just on the hard edges, and also here we would have this transition from uh, one sort of uh, plane to another. Uh, but I would like to keep that sharp sharpness to it. So now we'll just close uh, polygroups. We can go into um, uh, geometry again and click the crease button. On crease tolerance, I'll leave that at 25, and I'll play. I'll, I'll press uh, create polygroup crease. Now the problem with this is uh, it's created these creases on every hard edge, but. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but basically there's no there's no crease over here, and that is because we have the same polygroup, so it doesn't know it needs to create it. So up here in the in the um, you know for, for our uh, tools we can select um, Z modeler, and then we go on top of an edge. This edge in particular, for example, this is the one that we want to do. We'll keep space bar pressed. We have a crease selected from here and on on an edge. And basically we'll do this, we'll press each of these edges and that will manually add a crease in. And that's the that's the all, all the crease that we basically needed in this particular case. Now because I creased it before, I will have to do that one as well, that didn't exist before. Uh, it's creased over there, it's creased on this side, no it's not, sorry, yeah. So we'll have to um, do a crease over here as well. Oh, sorry about that. Right, crease, uh, no, crease, crease, and then we'll, start, we'll add a crease, a crease there as well. Right, so now the 
if we do z remeasure now by uh, you know to retain the poly groups and to use the crease that we just created that we've created in here uh, you will see how it uh, will actually remesh properly so we've got key groups key creases detect edges use poly paint you know all of the all of these settings and we'll just press use z remesher and that's it it's basically um you see there's no there's no more there's none of that smoothness or degradation of the of the mesh and we have a clean topology that we can work with now again as i said you can you know you can try and, and use different settings in here to decrease the number of polygons it will all work depending on the model that you're using and what you're looking for i mean i'm sitting at 3000 um, active points at the minute so that's quite high uh really depends on what you want to use it for uh, you can z remesh again and and get the polycon down a poly count down but in some cases you may want to you know um, for example maintain um, uh, some polycon count in some places and some and some not you can uh, select delete on here and then get an edge loop and you know every time you press these um, the edge loops it will remove it will, it will remove them you can you can even do it this way but that's obviously breaks the uh, mesh um you can do it right here it really depends on how your topology follows up the uh, what topology you have set up but uh, yeah that's uh, basically it uh, so thank you guys for watching i hope you find this useful if you have any any ideas how to do this in a you know in a better fashion i've obviously rushed it a bit just to show you the video but there are better ways to um, to go about this i'm sure and there are, there are things that I could have done better to basically get a cleaner result. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.